Yo, yo, what's going on? Morning Mindset Reset. Thank you so much for the great weekend. It was my 55th birthday over the weekend and many people reached out in, in person uh, through text and through social media and said, uh, happy birthday, Darren. I love you and you mean a lot to me and our relationship's important. Felt amazing. And quite a few people, well over a dozen said, man, I haven't been seeing your Morning Mindset Reset inspirational videos and I really miss it. And uh, I've been doing them here the last month, but a couple months before that, it was tough to be in front of people and I wasn't doing them as often. So because so many people commented on my birthday video this weekend, uh, more and more people are seeing them. Uh, I'm getting feedback, so uh, that's good. So thoughts that you think, exercise you get, foods that you eat. One simple little idea or thought that could spark some action. And that's really what works in life. We know that is you can think about it, but you can buy the eBooks, you can buy the courses and set them on the shelf and not take any action, but you gotta take action. So hopefully my ideas for the Morning Mindset Reset sparks a little action today or tomorrow, and then you feel a benefit from it and you can get some momentum. So thoughts that you think. Two thoughts, one is that we most likely all feel incredibly rushed. And we are, especially with so much access to us and so many different modes and mediums of people contacting us, we have so much on our mental plate. And uh, a simple little incantation that I say helps me out. First of all, getting in mother nature, uh, grounding, uh, you know, getting shoes in, uh, off, getting in the wet grass, even if it's just for 10 minutes and getting the morning sunlight uh, in my eyes and on my skin and doing some breathing and stretching and some light movement for 20 minutes is a game changer. I get it's really hard when you're feeling anxious, anxiety, depression, you can't get out of bed and you, and you feel like you need more sleep, but laying in bed is not going to help you feel more refreshed. Getting outside and listening to mother nature and breathing and clearing your head out of your apartment or home, out of your bed is going to potentially help you feel like you have more time. Most likely we need an accountability partner. I got a, a couple friends, one's a chiropractor turned functional medicine doctor that's a huge believer in the morning sunlight and the, the sunset evening uh, light in the eyes from the sun and on the skin at helping us with our natural rhythms, our circadian sleep cycle, helping our hormones uh, for sleep uh, come out at night and just have a natural cycle that's better. And uh, so an accountability partner can help get your butt out of bed and get outside and slow down before your day starts and uh, have an incantation of, I do have enough time, I do have enough money, I do have enough resources and relationships to live my best life now. Reach out to me, I will help you. So it's a mindset of I do have enough time. Number two is that the Body's an incredible self-healing machine, and in a year and a half from now, every cell in my body and your body will be dead and gone and replaced with a brand new cell. Uh, the question is, what will those new cells look like and how will they function? The choices that we make today are part of that equation of what, how will our hormones operate? How will our, our cells function? So we regenerate every year and a half with brand new cells and you have the ability to regenerate a new healthier body, but you have to make different choices with your mind, with your mouth, and with your exercise and, and your choices throughout the day. That's part of, uh, it's a big challenge, but you can do it. You gotta hang around people that will support you in that more and hang around the negativity less. So that's my, my morning mindset reset uh, thoughts on uh, thoughts. <laughs> Food, real simple, any diet or met mythology way of eating will work. The bottom line is just do it consistently for two to three weeks. Eat higher quality foods, drink more water, less liquid calories, and stick with the mindset of the diet that you're utilizing, the nutrition strategy. Um, you know, some people eat two or three meals uh, between noon and eight, uh, intermittent fasting style. Small meals off, and if you're using resistance training, uh, to burn fat off that I'm a big advocate of and that I do with myself and my clients, most likely you need to 
eat smaller meals more often with protein as a base and veg veggie type carbs, fibrous vegetables as a base in every meal, and then cycle your starchy carbs, your oatmeals, your rices, potatoes, quinoas, fruits, breads and pastas fit in there. And you can get leaner and healthier by eating those types of carbs, but you just eat them on only two or three days of the week. And then the other two or three days, you don't eat the starchy carbs. It's called carb cycling. That works really well. But whatever strategy you use, write down on a food log, because people who write down what they eat are more self-aware and they eat better. Get some movement in, some light exercise, and drink water during the exercise. And you will subconsciously be prone to eating higher quality foods because your body's smart. It knows that it doesn't want to waste that exercise session. So hopefully that's not too much. Hopefully that helps. Uh, exercise you get. I'm 55 now. I'm a, a, a big advocate of... Uh, I've always been an advocate of lighter weights, more slower repetitious speed, but focus your mind on whatever mode you choose. Focus during the exercise session. Clear your head. Do your mind a favor and your muscles a favor and feel the mind-muscle connection. I'm a big advocate of like, uh, I'm lifting three-second negative, a push-up and a three-second pause, a pause. Three-second negative, going down towards the floor, three-second positive. Nice and slow, more time under tension. Get those last two or three reps that really burn. You can do that with a rubber band. If you had a rubber band, three, two, one, pause. Three, two, one, just lengthen it out. Three, two, one, pause. Three, two, one, slow and controlled movement. In the morning, I love light exercise like Tai Chi, move, light movement, stretching, some light breathing. Uh, in my 30s and 40s, I used to abuse caffeine and ephedrine, fat burners. That's that's a short path that probably did, did not serve me at all, even at the time. So I'm totally away from that stuff right now. And uh, I use caffeine tactfully with uh, uh, nootropics in it, like a brain... Uh, nutrients, you know, uh, vegan, different types of plants that are adaptogens and stuff like that. So the caffeine is uh, energy giving and uh, your brain works a little bit better with a lot less caffeine, but tactically put together with some plants and herbs. Uh, and that, that just a little bit, just a little bit, it's like a, some Tai Chi uh, <laughs> tea, chai tea. Um, I was thinking of the, <laughs> the exercise. Um, so I've been utilizing that for the last uh, a few months, and that really seems to help. So uh, I hope that helps. I love you. If you got any questions, please comment below. Uh, that helps me get my message out for the Morning Mindset Reset uh, social media. When people comment and show interaction, it helps more people see the video. Uh, share this with anybody that you think might help, and look uh, out each morning for my Morning Mindset Reset. I love you. You do have the power to change. Remember, in a, a year and a half, every cell in our body will be dead and gone, replaced with a brand new cell. The question is, what will those new cells look like? You do have the power to grow, no matter what age you are, towards a healthy, healthier, healthiest possibly version of yourself. But you got to do a little bit of work. It's not as hard as you think. It's back to the basics with a lot of this stuff. And if you need any help, I'll help you. Make it a great day.